fucked up, dude. I have actually never been on an airplane. Really? Yeah, I've only gone on vacation once, and we drove. Maybe maybe like twice when I was a little kid and don't even remember. Where did you go? Um, we went to Florida uh, because my sister had a volleyball tournament. She was for mm -hmm. one of her club volleyball teams. And we drove from uh, Joliet, <clears throat> Illinois, all the way down through like Tennessee and shit and stopped mm -hmm. and saw some family there. Did you stop at all the weird souvenir shit? Oh, like yeah. I got uh, In Florida, actually, I got two souvenirs. I got a... Um, formaldehyde jar with a baby shark in it Ooh. And, <laughs> oh nice and then um i got a trucker hat that i wish i still had but it was this bright red trucker hat with yellow lettering on it and a picture of a truck and it just said don't tell my parents i uh i'm a truck driver they think i play piano at a whorehouse on bourbon street <laughs> oh nice and I, I saw that at like 13 i'm like that is awesome I'm perfect like, here's ten dollars buy the fucking hat <laughs> dude I, I i recently was like hat shopping and I, i'm like oh this is going to fucking humor the wrong crowd, even though it makes me laugh. I wanted to get, like, you know, like the MAGA hats, but mm -hmm. it says, make me a sandwich instead oh. of, and I don't know if that's like. Wait, MAGA? No, they like, actually. They make were, America great again. Oh, got it. But yeah, just, there's a, um, a MAGA hat parody that just says, make America gay again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, if I wouldn't get my ass beat for wearing a hat that looked like it, <laughs> my God, I would wear that. Right. <laughs> I, I like how any make hat will get your ass beat well, pretty yeah, much. Well, yeah, I mean, you know? it's. It's, Let's make some pizza rolls. Yeah, you know? if if it looks like it and people can't read it, like yeah, I I'm nearsighted. So like, if I see somebody with that hat, like from like further away than you, and I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> but like, they get it close, like, oh yeah, no pizza rolls. Yeah, I fucking love pizza rolls. Yeah, let's make more pizza rolls again. <laughs> my uh, but, uh, Gavin, uh, my stepkid, his his ma's, uh, or his friend's ma, um, she kind of like did did got to that point where she doesn't know if to trust me that well because um coming from a polish community i love that shirt it, it, it's like old school in every heavy metal magazine it's it's the pope holding a joint and it says i like the pope the pope smokes dope <laughs> and so i answered the door with that and she's super polish like, oh i really like your sh uh what is oh this? no oh, have a good day <laughs> you know, like, okay yeah. i leave now yeah. thank you <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> so you cannot hang out with him. <laughs> he is evil man. Oh, I thought people loved it at the parent-teacher meetings, everything, the PTA meetings. Now they're not yeah, a big fan yeah. of the dude. Speaking of conference, being oh man, like fucking. So we went. Um, I keep like it's driving me nuts because nobody will understand me until they're dad. But it's fucking <laughs> no, no, like dude, it's fucking. It's it's so weird because all. I like like there's there's no there's no social life in there because all the parents there are older than me so they think I'm some crazy fuck I can't like small talk with anybody and then like even the conference thing just coming in like even if I came in there dressed you know and fucking looking like I'm a Cubs fan Sperry shoes and shirt and tie they still think you're weird because just being young I'm like oh yeah we know this guy was an accident or something you know so it's like it's so weird for me to be like, are, is she treating me like I'm a young parent or like a regular parent type shit? Mm -hmm. And we went and Gavin, like what's bothering me is I don't know how to make him not go down the downward spiral because he's just been like not paying attention, getting bad grades, not trying to do better. And you've been hitting him, right? You've tried that? I, I mean, it doesn't work anymore, man, in different times. <laughs> don't give up. Don't give up. That's what the studies show. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, you move from yardstick to electric cord to, I mean. Yeah, no, it seems like you've done everything. Yeah, I mean. So what did the teacher say? No, well, no. So what happened is now it's, I mean, he's, he, uh, they give him like these little, uh, I don't know. I think it's fucking, I think it's fucking stupid. I think kids need to be ranked to motivate them. Like, you know, are you doing the, you know how it's like, what is a no child left behind shit? Mm -hmm. So he gets like a pencil with a little note of like a compliment each week of what he's doing better. And he keeps getting them. And then the teacher calls us saying he's more disconnected. I'm like, bitch, if he's fucking getting good grades, keep that disconnect, okay? Like, who gives... I he I don't know. She, she said he's more disconnected. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck that... And it's so hard to take her seriously because she has, like, this KRS-One nose. It's really... <laughs> I don't know. It's. I mean, she. Like, I don't. I'm not being racist. She's white, but it's just like, that's the only big thing nostrils. I'm staring at. The whole. Yeah, big right. nose. Like the whole fucking thing. I'm staring at that. Hearing whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. You know, like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, he's disconnected. Okay. 
uh please explain you know like mm-hmm. I, yeah what does uh, that mean teacher yeah i don't know and she doesn't she she says that he uh like so the way so yeah th- that's what sucks like how many fucking stories you have to go through he told me that he got put in a so you get like science projects like you get like five options and for some reason they let the kids roam free like which project you want to join so it's like, oh, I don't like that kid because he's got a weird mole. So I'm going to join this group or something. And so they let the kids pick. So they don't, none of the kids want to be with Gavin because he's like shy. But then none of the kids want to be with the fucking asshole redneck anger management kid. Right. So they get put in a group together. Uh-oh. And suddenly like, you know. Now he's well, disconnected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. G- Gavin will be like, oh, well, I think we should do things this way. No, that's so stupid. I'm doing it this way. Yeah, but we're not going to get a good grade. It's like, no. You know, and it's like he's not, he's obviously trying to make that connection with somebody who's fucking raging, you know. Is he? Uh, is he very intelligent? Like, is he actually a really smart kid? He's he's real good in, like, reading. I mean, and reading and writing, but... He, he might not be getting <laughs> challenged enough. Like, there's, yeah, yeah. There's, there, there's well, an issue with, like, um, kids who learn quicker and are a little, like, smarter, like, for lack of a better term, than most other kids. Like, kids who are more advanced in their learning. Yeah. When they have to learn slower with other kids... It, they become bored. Yeah. Like, if something isn't challenging the kid, they just are like, why should I even try? It's so easy. Yeah. And then after a few years, it's like, uh-oh, I didn't pay attention enough because I wasn't challenged. Now I don't understand yeah. anything. Yeah, so now you have to why catch up. Why even, like, either I catch up and try harder, but most kids just go, I don't fucking care anymore. I'm not going to try. Like, I ended up doing that, like, not to toot my own horn, but I was a smart kid. I grew up yeah. very smart. I tested very well in a lot of the standardized testing. And for a long time, it was just like I enjoyed learning. But after like a while, you become so fucking bored. Yeah. You're like, I got this on day one. Yeah. And the, like half the class is going to take a couple more days. And then there's going to be the other kids who are probably just as smart as I am, but don't learn quickly. They can learn slower and need a different pace. And it's like, I'm stuck. No, I just got to wait for everyone yeah. else. And I, I, I don't want to wait, so I'm not even going to pay attention. I'm just going to go off and do my own thing and not care and who gives a shit if I have bad grades because I already know this stuff. Like, I would get in arguments with teachers like, I already know this. Why do I have to do this? And they're yeah. like, because you have to do this. You have to take the test. You have to answer the questions. You have to do the homework mm-hmm. because that's how you show me, and then I give you the grade, and then everyone's fine. I know that you know this. Everyone in this fucking classroom knows that you know this. <laughs> Sit down, Cameron. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you man, are I smarter was... <laughs> than everyone here. We get it. No, I was. There was. I'm, that's, that's yes. I was smarter than every other child. I am smarter and the than all included. children. Yeah, I, but like, it, there there comes a point where it's just like if you're not challenging you know, certain kids in some way, either by like giving them something that's hard for them or giving them something that intrigues them in the way they want to learn. Yeah. They're just going to fucking click out and they're done. And like, that's how kids end up being like, Oh, they were such a promising young student. Why did they just start doing stupid shit? Good kids, horrible, bad. Like they end up doing stupid shit. uh, And it's because they weren't challenged in any way, whether it be just like, you have to do this or like, how do you want to do this? How can we help you want to do this? Yeah. And it's th- not catering I, to go, oh, a special little kid needs help. It's like, yeah, all kids need individual attention mm-hmm. and they don't need to be treated like fucking sunflowers that are super special. But you need to take into account that every kid has a different way of learning and every kid learns at a different pace. And some kids just aren't going to understand something. Yeah. And some kids are going to understand it so well that they're done with it. So you have to like give a kid a reason to want to be challenged and to want to succeed yeah. and an effort to just go do your best and not just like spoil them when they're the best student either. Like they found that students who are continually told they're so smart and so great and they're so good at things, they end up worse off when they're told that they're so smart and shit because they become reliant on that being told that that when they can't do a thing, they think less of themselves. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, but I'm this, I'm so smart and I'm so special and so good. Why can't I do this thing?" It's because not everybody can do everything, man. Like, yeah. you can't get so down on yourself. And like, when that's implanted in a kid's head, they start defeating themselves because, they're like, if I am smart, why can't I do this? I must be stupid. Why should I try? Mm-hmm. Because kids are very complex. They're 
<laughs> human beings being formed from the get-go. So they're still learning who they are and how they learn and what they like. And it's going to change and evolve because they're fucking growing. Yeah. So that, like, that sounds like he just... It's the balance, man. It's yeah, it's a balance. balance of just going, you're working hard. You can work harder. We're going to help you. We want you to do better, and we want you to want to do better. Yeah. And <clears throat> sometimes you're going to have to do things you don't want to do because you have to do them. And sometimes you can do the things you want to do the way you want to do them. So you have to just, it's a delicate balance of just yeah. going, do you need to be challenged or do you need help? Like, don't be afraid of either. Don't be say like, don't be afraid to go, you know what? I know this shit. Like, how can I keep myself involved? Or, you know what? I don't understand this and it's going to be hard for me. Yeah. I'm willing to say that's, I need that, help. That's what's making me like feel so bad. Cause I'm like, we put them in a swimming class and I'm like, mm -hmm. listen, you will get your video games back. If you learn, if I can throw you in the 12 foot section and you're swimming and he's just like, he got used to just not having video games. So yeah. then we sent him for like Taekwondo and <clears throat> I mean, I finally motivated him. <clears throat> I realized like, I don't know, man. Like I've had so much energy ever since I started exercising more. So finally like taking my time to teach because I get home at like six and I work mm -hmm. since 5 a.m. So it's like I never had a time for the energy and I finally like teaching him. I'm like, dude, I never realized, you know, like when he's in class and he's moves any limbs, it looks like a drunk person falling down the stairs or like a toddler trying to walk mm -hmm. because like he's not paying attention. it. And I finally taught him. And I mean, it was really awkward because he's like crying, doing jumping jacks right away. But I'm like, look, you finally got it right. You finally got it. You know, mm -hmm. like, but yeah, man, it's, I don't know. I'm just saying it's tough. Yeah, it is. It's, but I couldn't, but I couldn't pay attention to anything with that fucking teacher. She, and yeah. she, her Steven no, Tyler what? bracelets <laughs> all over her fucking. <laughs> KRS one knows Steven Tyler yeah. bracelets. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm like, it's 2018. Like <laughs> you're, you're supposed to look hot. Not like <laughs> the God teachers. Yeah. Like Oh man, but I know I remember some of my old teachers dude, like I don't know. What? Being being attractive? No, I I remember no, not being I re I remember there was a guy who having noses of different hip hop I rem artists. There, there was dude, my t I, that's the funny thing is the more fucked up they wore were, the more like inside joke there was among kids to fuck with them. Mm -hmm. I remember there was like a Mrs. Suker who she looked her face looked like she was a burn victim and she'd oh, get always Jesus mad and she she she'd threaten the kids with specifically a rubber hammer she'd go if you don't do this i'm getting out my rubber hammer and she'd like just pull out her desk it, like pull her shelf out and put a rubber hammer on the desk oh, Jesus. Dude. All right. i i used to have a teacher um in eighth grade and like a couple other grades before that but like he was this very old dude is the only dude teacher in our entire school like really good really smart guy but like, he had a very weird way of talking and like would always have these odd threats like not like pervy threats but just like weird threats of like yeah like just shut up and pay attention yeah. and he like he'd come up to you like he'd grab you like by, by the neck if you're misbehaving like like on the on your shoulders like mr little what's so funny about the word boner and you're just like <laughs> don't say it and like i, I remember i i got I was like 14 and we were talking about uh, political redistricting um, yeah. and like changing districts based on population shit. Like, it was gerrymandering. Gerrymandering. And I had never heard the term gerrymandering before. And I'm 14. So, of course, my brain just goes, masturbation. <laughs> gerrymandering. Oh, oh. And I, I just like I start laughing. And my teacher was like, Mr. Little. Why are we laughing at gerrymandering? And I'm just like <laughs> laughing more because he's saying it weird. And he's just like, Mr. Little, I'm going to take you outside, rough you up. And it's just like, God damn it. Right. Oh. So a note to all of our listeners out there, never send your kids to Catholic schools. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Horrible. Send your kids to public school and also pay more in taxes so you can help fund the school and then help to get more funding to those yeah. schools so those kids don't get lost and teachers get paid more and the class sizes can be smaller so your kids can get help. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And no, do you, some volunteer work. Why not? Yeah, and volunteer. Well, no, dude, I remember how awkward and f and even – see, these situations, the ridiculous situations we always escalate. Like that same day, that same week I get caught – for looking up a chick's skirt because it's right in front of me. <laughs> I go to fucking guitar class afterward, and, and we had this old school fucking nun, dude. She was like missing teeth and looked like a giraffe, and she would fucking hit your hand with a yardstick if you messed up the chords. And she's like, oh, Philip, do Philip doesn't know how to do this song. Why don't you go in front of the class? And it was like, 
the nicest looking girl in class and what do you know like guitar spread and i'm just like fuck i just got over this she's like how do i like get, get yeah. uh, what is, what what what's what's like the weapon of choice for this nun when she sees my fucking boner sure yeah. so your mind immediately goes to gerrymandering i don't i still don't know what the fuck that means i, I forgot yeah it's um masturbating per, it's yeah, slang it's, for masturbating it? it's 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 personally <laughs> pleasuring yourself by redistricting the size of your district to maximize the amount of votes towards your party Okay. It's, yeah, I was it's gonna literally say, I, I, changing the size of a district <laughs> okay. or the locations of certain parts of districts that vote so you can keep maximizing your votes. But to a 14-year-old boy, it sounds like a synonym for masturbating. Yeah. It's it's moving stuff around to pleasure yourself so yeah. you can get the most I, out of it. I forgot what that meant. I don't know when I forgot, and I kept thinking it was like, you know, like Alzheimer's is named after a person's name. I thought it was named someone. Gerrymander? Gerrymander. <laughs> Gerrymander? Sure, yeah. Well, I don't know where the actual term came from, but that's yeah. what it means. It's it's purposeful redistrict redistricting to get more votes. Yeah, probably some like 1920s slang, like you know, like oh Hoovervilles and yeah. these carpet baggers coming here uh, gerrymandering the entire state. Uh, what are you gonna do when the uh, engines come round? <laughs> the bindle stiffs, a slick and mug. Yeah, <laughs> mud, not mud. The dust bowls got us all mixed up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, simpler times. <laughs> FDR is gonna fix it with his Hoover Dam initiative. <laughs> ah, see, and things have never been better. <laughs> things have never been better for everyone here in America. The not too distant future, the year 1954. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's gerrymandering. Yeah. So, um, I just yeah, I'm, I'm I can't believe I can't believe like there's random words like that where I didn't. I don't know. That my my brain works a different way. It's it's the what same way like when you do it's the same like when I'd be in history class and we're talking about the slavery period, but then you talk about it in religion class, it's like, oh wait a minute. Like which wait, are these the same slaves we're talking about? You know? <laughs> no. You're like, Oh wait, Hang slaves on. have happened forever? Yeah. I, I'm just oh, saying fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, I'm wait, just so I'm, like you were thinking, like the people that built the pyramids are the same ones yeah, that yeah. were working like cotton plantations. Oh, it was great! <laughs> yeah, it, it was great. They build pyramids in, in the seventeen hundred, right? It's like, how old are these people? Right. Yeah. Wow, slavery sure does suck. Right. You live yeah. forever. Your job gets increasingly worse. Why did My they God. do this? Why would anyone want this? No, thank you. No slavery for me. <laughs> yeah, I am not a fan of slavery. Mm -mm. They go from architecture. To just farm work, and dude, you know th that shit's like more like that's even more of a complicated issue. Like, what if you're a kid and you're in a class? How do you fucking explain that to little kids? You know, and, and, and there's what some, slavery? Yeah, I don't think it's a topic that should be taught that young, because there there may be someone who down the line had a what you know had slave enslaved family. I I don't know. I think it's kind of like a cringy. Weird it's a thing. delicate thing to slowly open up someone to how awful history has been. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, growing up and, like, you get history as a kid. Yeah. And for the majority of history, you're like, <clears throat> yes, some bad stuff has happened, but here's all the great things people have done over time. And, like, I think that's a good way of kind of pushing a kid into human history of going, like, oh, this is when things were invented, and here's when, oh, this happened, and oh, it was a glorious move, and this people moved to here, and yeah, it's yeah. very simple history. But like, I remember, like, getting, like, to 13 and 14 and starting, like, investigating more history myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, like, I remember, like, just walking out to my parents after <laughs> reading, like, a book, and I was just like... Are you aware of how horrible people are? <laughs> and my parents just have to look at me like, yeah, dude. People fucking suck, and they always have, and they, they probably don't fucking always tell will. you. They, yeah. they don't tell you. You're like, wait, we just murdered and raped all the time forever? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, no, that's pretty much how it's all been. We're still trying to stop that. And you're like, and you just brought me into this world? <laughs> yeah, first, <laughs> first you tell me Santa Claus isn't real, and now this is real? <laughs> like, not only is Santa Claus not real, but the toys you buy me are made by kids my age? <laughs> Holy shit! And you're like... Yeah, dude, sorry. I'm like, do you want, like, I don't know, do you want a cookie or something? You want to just forget about it for a bit? I'm like, yeah, I do. I would like <laughs> to forget for, like, an hour just at how horrible humans have always been. Yeah. And I remember, like, the first time I learned that the term slave came from Slav. Oh, I didn't. I didn't yeah. know that. The term slave meant Slav because uh, the first use of the term slave was Slavs that were used as indentured servants, essentially, in Eastern Europe and in the Middle East. Oh, huh. Yeah, so you were as low as a Slav, you were a slave. 
and like that, that the term etymo- etymologically came from Slav, and like for a while, Slavic people were like, "I refuse to use the term slave," because it's uh, equating all uh, marginalized and detrimental <laughs> effects to people to the Slavs to the Slavs. Like, I remember hearing that. I'm like, "Wait, I'm of Slavic." <gasps> <gasps> just like yeah. losing my mind and then it's like wait okay no all right it's a word words evolve whatever fuck it stupid right uh, yep. uh, uh, all slavery is bad no matter what the fucking term comes yep. from yeah. like, it's all shit yep it's like yeah any anytime i see a you know like some some overly represented like white white kid making white jokes about white i'm like let me slip my 23 me towards you i'm a slav <laughs> you know, like, it's like oh you're just western european my people were subjugated, and you let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> but what about everyone else who had subjugation? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. Uh, my, mine's, mine's not as bad. Mine's not as Dude, bad. Not as bad. My Sorry. family's blood is on your hands, <laughs> my stranger. My oppression is nearly not as bad as yours. Dude, 23 Me is so goofy. We, we, <laughs> we did an episode on it where, like, because uh, most people are like, all right, so you either find your, you know, like your race ancestry and your health. Oh, my God. I'm Polish. Dude, no, that, that fucking list that was ridiculous, like, you're 11% more likely to not be able to do a cartwheel. According to our, and then you know you're thirteen percent more to think that basil smells like yogurt or some shit. Yeah, it's, the, uh, there I I refuse to do the twenty three and me why? one because you can take it multiple times and get a variation in results because yeah. the way that they're copywritten in the way they do them, so they have a certain way of testing them that can yeah. end up having a variation in results. But also they sell off the information. Yeah, hmm. to whom? To insurance to companies, anyone probably anyone who wants the information. Yeah, to health insurance. Literally anyone can take that if, information. If, if you got, if you got, like, say, epilepsy or a visual impairment in your health history, mm-hmm. then they will be able to judge, like, what, say, like, your child's health insurance. Easy. Yeah. So your DNA becomes information. It's yeah. commodified information because everything about you is commodified from the moment you're born to the moment you will die. Oh, beautiful, for <laughs> spacious sky. Oh goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. That was good. Normally, people don't sing along. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I'm all about it. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to drink too much on the show and then try and uh, persuade our guests into singing. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up, dude.